Well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's Brood. flat, Mama, Papa, and the two girls are sitting in the living room, and Mama says... Sally, turn on the radio. All right. What do you want to hear? What do you want to hear? Oh, it doesn't make any difference to us. I think we're going out. Yes, we're going to take a walk. Children, why don't you stay home? Let them go for a walk, Papa. Fresh air is very injurious for you. It puts new life in this system. Yeah, but why can't they stay home for one night? Jake, let them go. All right. But I'll bet they'd stay home if they knew who was coming. Oh, it's some friend of yours, I guess, and he'll sit here and discuss the knee pants business. He ain't a friend of mine. He ain't in the knee pants business, and I'll bet you'll stay home. Who is it, Pa? Yeah, well, why don't you wait and see? Well, tell us. What is it? Some kind of a guessing game? Well, right? this much I'll tell you. He's in the automobile business. Who do you know in the automobile business, Jake? I don't see how it makes any difference to us what business he's in. Hey, if you want to go out, go out. Jake, something's in your mind. Don't play riddles with me. What can be in my mind, What kind from a fellow, you see, huh? Uh, will you to like him, you think? Now I am going out. Papa, you promised me you wouldn't bring any more men home for me to look over. If he's a nice fellow, why can't you stay? Must something be wrong with him because Papa brings him home? Well, I'm not going to like him. I'll promise you that. Maybe it'll be a case of love from first sight. Anyway, how can you tell that you won't like a fella before you see him? Any form can send him samples you don't have to buy. Jake, what does he look like? Is he beautiful? He's a little short fella. Fat, I bet. Fat? He's very fat and bald, and he's got a big, long nose. I told you. And he's shorter than you, maybe by six inches, and old. Well, he's as old as me. Well, I'm not going to stay home, and I wouldn't marry him if he had $65 million. Who's and asking a... you to marry him? you got to marry him just because he's coming here to sell me an automobile. Just to sell you an automobile. Just to sell you an automobile. <laughs> What's the matter with my English all of a sudden? Am I a foreigner that you can't understand me? Jake, a jock is a jock, but do you mean it? Why not? <laughs> Mama, if it hadn't been for you, I would have spent $10,000 in a gold mine. And we couldn't even go riding in it. Oh, Papa, I think you're the swellest thing. Oh, Papa, you're a pea. Yes, uh, a pea. Maybe you got a little kiss for Papa? Huh? Here's two. Oh, here's three for me. <laughs> uh, no, 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 Becky, sit still. You don't have to get up for a kiss from you. I'll walk all the way over there. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> now. And now, girls, if you want to go out, who's stopping? Ah, uh, you couldn't drive them out with hammers. When did come in? No, 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 children, don't get excited. We can't get it tonight. Oh, I'm afraid you'll change your mind. Papa won't change his mind. He's not an Indian taker. Yeah. Any minute now he's coming. Now, the first thing you do is to decide what color it'll be. I think a, a light gray with red wire wheels and red upholstery. And then I can wear my gray dress when I drive. Oh, all black looks richest, unless it's going to be a roadster. Hey, let's get a roadster, huh? I don't like a roadster. My hair blows too much. And besides, when it rains... Well, then a convertible roadster. Wait a minute, Yetta. A roadster's got one seat, ain't it? Yes, but it's got a nice rumble. A rumble? The best automobiles don't make noises. Me, I like a quiet car. Oh, I mean a rumble seat, Ma. Oh, you mean the kind of seat you get in like you was climbing over a fence? <laughs> Such kind of seat is not for me. Wait, you just leap into them. Sarah, I'm no leaping hyena. I like such a kind of car with a back seat that you can get into without rumble. <laughs> yes, but they're very sporty. Since when is your mother a sporty? Well, a roadster we won't get. In the first place, a roadster, the wind gets in my eyes. You could wear uh, goggles, Jay. Say goggles, Ma, not goggles. Goggles, goggles, what difference does it make? I... 
yellow ones, not black ones. Black ones I don't like. Why don't you like black goggles? Mm, with black goggles, it always looks like she'd go out in cop and some lead pencil. What color goggles you should wear is not so important. You Mama, know what we ought to get, Pa? We ought to get a convertible fit with partition seats. Or, or else a cabriolet, don't you think so, Ma? It sounds too expensive. Oh, a cabriolet is very nice. I don't think it's for us. Oh, why not? What do we need with our foreign car? That's not a foreign car, Ma. That's the name of a particular kind of body. Yeah. And another thing. Let's get one with an adjustable front seat so that when I drive, I won't have to use a pillow. Yeah, the driving I'll do. I don't want you should all get killed. Now, you know we both drive better than you do, Pa. Don't we, Ma? Everybody's got a different system. Your papa drives one system, you drive another system. System, schmistum, I drive all right. Sure you drive all right, Jake. I don't like a fancy driver. Your driving is very conservatory. You mean conservative, Ma. Papa drives careful. Papa drives all over the road. He never pays any attention to stop and go lights. And he never gives a signal to anybody. Nobody gives him anything. And he starts with a jerk that almost throws you out of your seat. Yeah, and he's always killing his motor. When he changes speeds, you can hear him four blocks away. Hmm. Outside of that, he's all right. So, I'm as bad as old that, huh? Yes, Pa. We hate to tell you, but you're the worst driver in the world. Yeah, Pa, honest you are. Well... If I'm such a bad driver, I think the best thing to do is to keep the old car. And when the man comes, you'll tell him I've changed my mind. And now I'm going into the other room and read. Oh, oh. <laughs> now you see what you've done? <laughs> you've turned upside down the apple cart and you've made applesauce. Oh, Ma, can't you do anything? What can I do? You talked him in that he was such a bad driver that he believes you. But he really is an awfully bad driver, honest, Ma. Do you think this was the time to tell him? But it's the truth. The truth is very beautiful, but there is no one who is so unpopular... As a person who's going around all the time telling the truth, especially when the truth hurts. Well, you don't want us to lie, do you? No, sir, I don't want you to lie. It's not right to tell a lie. But suppose somebody comes up to you, they've just bought a dress, and they say to you, how does it look? Yes. Yeah. You know they've already paid for the dress. What good would it do you for you to tell them it's too long or too little or too old or too young? In such a case, maybe it would be nicer for you to say, Mrs. Levy, it's a beautiful dress, even if you had to shut your eyes when you say it. But that's different. It's no difference at all. Papa comes home. He's feeling good. He's going to buy a new car. Half the pleasure of the whole car is the fun he gets telling you he's going to buy it. And the warm feeling that comes in his heart that he knows you're pleased. Yeah, I guess that's mm -hmm. right. So suppose Papa's a bomb driver. Is this the time for you to tell him so when he's feeling so fine? Wouldn't it be nicer to wait until some other time and not spoil his whole evening? And besides, if you'd waited until some other time, we would have a new automobile. Of course you're right, but... You know he's a bad driver. Of course he's a bum driver, the voice in the world. But shall I tell him so? It's better that he should hit ten street cars than I should have one argument with him. Well, can't you do something, Ma? Yeah, yeah, I can do something. But why should I? The old car's all right for me. Oh, Ma, please do something. Why should I be a fool? Why be the husband I do want about the automobile I don't want? But you said you could make him buy one. Why should I? Everything was fine. He was going to buy the car and you talked him out of it. That's what education does for you. All right, Ma. We admit we're wrong. Please get us out of it. Mm -hmm. How can a dumb woman like me help two smart girls like you? All the time I'm making mistakes and you have to correct me. You did it. Now undid it. What do you mean? I'll call Papa back in here. You talked him out of the car? Now talk him back into it. <laughs> It'll be good practice for you when you get married. What do we say to him? Don't ask me. You know a lot of words. Just put them in the right places. You knew where they belonged when you wanted to tell him about his driving. Well, I don't think we can do it. Well, let's try it. We've nothing to lose. Sure, you got no new car now. You can't do worse than that. All right. Ask him to come in, please, Ma. Jake. Jake, come in here. Uh, well, who wants me? The girls. Uh, they want to tell me more about my bomb driving. I know, that's all settled. Who said you're a bomb driver? Who said it? Who said it? They, they said, said it. nothing. You're telling me. How can you hear what's going on if you go in the other room in the middle? I heard enough. I tell you, you ran away in the middle. In the first place, Sarah and Yetta, are they judges? They don't know what they're talking about. Of course they don't know what they're talking about. But they know about driving you could write on the pin of our head. Hmm. Besides, what they did say was not that you was a bad driver. In the first place, a bad driver has accidents. Did you have accidents? Accidents? No. Two years I've been driving and not once did I have an accident. Not good. All right. What they were saying was that once in a while... Maybe once a month or every two months, I'll go and I'll stop sign you passed by. Well, how can anybody help that? That's just what they said, the very voice. Yeah, but yet they says I was always killing my motor. But yet the meant was that in an old car, anybody can kill a motor. So if you get a new car, right away, that'll be all right. Who's getting a new car? Nobody's getting a new car, Jim. Mm. 
but everybody who is getting a new car. If once in a while they do make a little mistake driving, people are so busy looking at the new car and the shiny paint that who notices a little mistake. Well, once in a while I do drive in the center of the road just in case I want to pass somebody. That's just what Sarah said. No, it isn't, Pop. I'll tell you what I said even if I never get the car. I'm not going to let Ma take our parts every time we make darn fools of ourselves. We're supposed to be so smart. The result is, if we don't get a new car, it's all our own fault. Sure it is. It serves us right, too. Even if you were the worst driver in the world. After all, it's your car, and we know you enjoy driving it. So if we have to shoot off our mouths about how bad you drive it, it would just serve us right if we never got a new car. Papa, they didn't mean what they said. Yes, we did. In the first place, we were very rude. And, and besides, as, as soon as you mentioned you were going to get a car, we, we picked out what we wanted without even thinking what you and Ma might want. Papa, you'll forgive them, won't you, Papa? Sure, sure, I'll forgive them. And you'll buy tonight from the man a car? No, absolutely not, and that is final. You're not going to buy? He's absolutely right. I wouldn't buy us one either. You see, the reason I'm not going to buy from him a car tonight is that this afternoon I already bought one. Jay, Papa! <laughs> well, am I a good driver? You're the best driver in the world. And if you want to drive in the middle of the road, it's okay with me. <laughs> ah, there's the automobile, man. I'll answer it. Shall I tell him to come up? No, no, no. We'll go downstairs. The new car's in front. Oh, come on, please! Come down. <laughs> Jake. Yeah? Has it got a rumble seat? Absolutely, Mama. It's a gray roadster with a rumble seat. Jake, how can I get in a rumble seat? Mama, the girls wanted a rumble seat. Let them get into it. Uh -huh.